Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. If you would like to improve your workflow significantly from client home to mosaic, you're going to want to stick around. And if you would like to find out how to receive all of the products from our web store for free, we'll show you. Let's get into it. So if you are an Android user, such as me, this doesn't necessarily apply to you, but you're, it would be very uh, advantageous if you picked up an, at least an iPad. So we're going to take you down memory lane a little bit. Back when the COVID pandemic started, we picked up this iPad Pro 2020, and it was one of the, I think it was the first model that had a LiDAR sensor, which uh, measures and scans 3D spaces. We picked this up so that we could go and measure a client space without having to touch their room. And we were using a, an app called Canvas. And this app worked well for us for a while. It the only issue is it created an extra layer of workflow from like measuring to transferring everything to Mosaic. So we set off on a path to create an app of our, our own. And as of yesterday, Millwork Scanner is currently in the Apple App Store. If you own an iPad Pro, iPhone, or iPad Pro 2020, or iPhone 12 Pro, has to be the Pro models. It's the only models that have the LiDAR sensor in it. Unfortunately, it won't work for the standard iPhones. Has to be a Pro model. So iPhone Pro 12 or newer, iPad Pro 2020 or newer, you already have this built in. If you're an Android user, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're an Android user like me, uh, just get an I iPad because it kind of doubles as a, you know, portfolio manager. You can show your clients all your portfolio, the pictures and stuff. That's what we use it for. And uh, let's face it, Apple products are pretty nice as well. So that's why we need it. It needs to be an Apple product because Android phones and are all different and they all have different sort of scanners and whatever in them. So it's not useful enough to build a whole app on it. Now, that being said, Millwork Scanner currently is in the App Store. You can download it and scan a room for free. Uh, we are charging $19.99 US per month for this. And what's going to happen is you scan a room and it will import directly into Mosaic. Let's get into the uh, overview of how you go through and scan. So right off the bat, there is a settings tab, there is a capture tab, and a clients tab. The clients tab will allow you to manage your clients and get them saved. So if you go and scan a room, you're gonna save that under a specific client. The settings tab is gonna allow you to manage your units, whether you're a millimeter guy or an inch guy, you can select that in the settings tab. So, Let's just get this going here. So when you hit the start scan button, it's gonna initialize. The first time it takes a little longer. And then it's gonna immediately start checking for walls and you're just basically painting the room with your device. So, uh, hey puppy. And you're, you're sort of like whole, using the device and just kind of going in around the room. It's going to capture the walls. It also captures chairs. Uh, it's going to capture the windows. The things that we can use in Mosaic currently are windows, doors, and walls. That's kind of the only things that I'm able to currently utilize based on how Mosaic's set up currently. So you're going through the room. Try your best to you know draw the drapes if you can. It'll do its best to go around it, but if you if you do open the drapes, you'll get a better, uh, more accurate scan. Here we are capturing cabinets. See, it'd be nice if we could utilize that in Mosaic, but that's something to discuss with them. Capturing windows. It also captures sinks. Potentially, I could use the sink to locate the plumbing stub out, but I don't know if that's exactly useful at that this point and it's not the most 
it's not advantageous really to go fast. The faster you go, the, the less accurate you get. Like you could get as accurate as 99 to 100% accuracy if you go really slow. If you go really super fast, you could get quite low accuracy, you know, still relative, maybe 80%, but it's, it's much more beneficial to go slower with your scan and then that way you're as close as you can get. For our workflow, we always go back and remeasure anyways. So the first one, you know, cause it's just a quote, uh, if I'm doing something like this, it's much more beneficial to quickly get all the measurements, quickly dump it into Mosaic. And then, you know, if we do receive the job, take my printed plan from Mosaic, go back to the job site, remeasure on the plan, and then go and update those plans back in Mosaic again. We've saved a lot of like issues or problems, even with hand measuring and stuff by measuring twice on jobs. Uh, well, well worth, you know, the effort it takes to measure a second time. It also gives your client a, sort of a, a good feeling about how the pro project is progressing. This is a nice thing too, is that, you know, you actually, because it's measuring 3D space, you can capture a center wall in a room and it will reference it within the wall or within that room's space. So your distances between walls and stuff, even if that wall is not connected to anything, will be, you know, measured somewhat accurately as well. If your cabinets and stuff aren't, we can't use the cabinets yet, but if your measurements aren't quite lining up with the walls where you want them, you can just kind of hold it on there a little longer and it'll capture it. Also, the room, once it's measured, it kind of re-manipulates at the end to uh, calculate a bunch of measurements and stuff. Then you have a 3D view which you can spin around and show your client. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So once you have this, then you have that a save button in the bottom right corner that pops up. You'll be able to save this job under a specific client. You can name the scan something specific, whether it's kitchen or laundry, whatever it may be. Add your uh, client's name, address, phone number, email, and notes if required. And then hit save. It's gonna save that scan in the client tab. So then you're gonna jump over to client tab, open that client, and then open the scan. And you get a similar view that you can spin around you can see that's got the windows, the doors, and all the additional details, which we can't use, like I said. Once you hit that export to mosaic button, it props up with this save uh, view, or share view, I should say, and then you can email it to whomever you need to to get the job imported into mosaic. So that's about it for the app side of things. So let's jump over to mosaic and see how this works. Okay, so here we are in Mosaic. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the Room tab and then hit make sure that this Room little tab here is highlighted. Hit this Laser Import button. Then you're gonna to navigate to where it's been downloaded, which is for us, the Downloads folder. And it's this one here, Kitchen Test. So we're gonna click Open. And for our units, we had in the Millwork Scanner app selected Inches. So we're gonna click OK. And as you can see, the app has fully brought in all of the walls. Now, you may notice that the wall comes in kind of diagonally, and we do have intentions of, chain, of uh, updating that so that it sort of squares off the room. If you did want to uh, straighten the room, you can, of course, set the rotation right here. Uh, that being said, you know, so this is something we do intend on solving and I know it is possible so we'll definitely be making this work later. Also, you have this faint line right here on this wall which we know we want cabinets on this side of the wall. So if you just select this backspace button right here, when you have that wall selected, it'll allow you to drag cabinets onto the back of it. So yeah, that's about it for the app side of things. So if you think this is an app that you could use, I'd be surprised if you weren't very happy with the results of this. I've been using it for several weeks now and it is just amazing. So nice just to go in and scan a room, dump it into Mosaic like minutes, 
I've saved probably hours of work, you know, in a week. So well worth it to me. If you're interested in this, uh, head over to the Apple App Store if you have a Pro Model iDevice and download it. If you give us a five-star review, that's super, super helpful and we would appreciate that very much in the App Store itself. Uh, also, if you are to download this app and you take a screenshot of the actual you know, subscription, send it over to my email, kitchensbyhillcrest.gmail.com. We will send you free of charge all of our uh, products in our app store from Mosaic. That's our spice pullout, our uh, angled hinges, and the Kremlin seals and everything else. We'll send that all to you free of charge. We really want you to try this out, and we'll be... Uh, I'm, I'm very confident that you're going to enjoy it. So head over to the App Store, try it out. Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email, kitchensbyhillcrest at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to improving this app in the future. If you'd like to help out the channel, if you'd like to say thank you, we much appreciate efforts to help us make this app as good as it could be. So if you could share, subscribe, all that great stuff, we much appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.